Okay, welcome to 450 Terrace Drive, the timeline from end of June through the end of September, 93 days. So real quick, I'm just going to blaze you right through it. <laughs> so we went from being literally a remodel into new construction. Um, you know, they were giving us quotes of about right around 3 million for a new build here in uh, Snowmass. As you can see, we got our extended lift. We have uh, excavators, trailers, everything else on site. Uh, that's when these guys were doing the garage. Uh, went through a lot of attrition just with our dirt work and our excavation, about 480 yards or so. But we have a great crew. Uh, we go through about a, a guy or two every couple weeks. Uh, you can see that we reincorporated all these push piers uh, that we had on the original foundation into the new foundation. Now, they didn't help us out with lateral support, but they do help out with vertical support. Now, we you go down to Strata, the problem is we have all this crazy... Um, expansive soils and it's rolling down the mountain and the natural um, flood path or drain path goes right through the home from Wildcat Bull and Wildcat Reserve which is to the rear of the property. So we you know we had to well we had to get uh, creative and we had to dig deep to get down to shale. Here are the views uh, in June. Uh, we did end up demoing everything. The roof was significant. We changed um, the scope of work but we did not change the build or the style so we went really deep here on the front end for this stairwell uh, you can see we stripped all the brick off of the fireplace so we could go with that nice finish uh, with the moonstone uh, but there again just a huge project this is on the front end tiering prepping main, making uh, for access so that we could do this huge deep stairwell in front which ended up being a little over 14 feet deep. Another shot here is after they demoed the roof. Uh, getting in and out of here just due to access was tricky, plus we have this tree, so we had to use extended forklifts, boom, hoist, excavator, and of course a skid steer. We still need to maintain um, all of these heavy equipment uh, assets on site just because of uh, the scope of work. You can see all the beams down here. We saved uh, salvage, probably $45,000, $50,000 worth of beams. You can see we really went deep here, compacted the heck out of the soil, and then of course out here, this is when they were still prepping in June, uh, they were digging down to get that front stair, uh, which is supported supports the hot tub on top. So a significant amount of weight on that front stair. So you can see just digging down deep, obtaining access. Uh, this is the shale. I tried to get a nice shot of the shale to show you where it's supportive and the expansive soils that aren't. So this is the shale that we like, the expansive soils we don't like. Yeah, of course, that's Curly. Uh, he, of course, likes that uh, shale. Uh, but this wall was 14 feet high, and it was over three inches. I don't know if you can see that. It was leaning three inches. So we had to, I just got done getting more ICF to um, basically reconcile that situation. Uh, again, going deep. So you can see we're going deep. You can see the pier, one of the old piers here we kept uh, five piers in place uh, that we had mounted uh, for the original foundation to work and we incorporated them right into our new build our new build here's the footers going in uh, this is June it was a significant amount of effort we moved about 480 yards of soil 480 yards which is huge huge okay but you can see some of the expansive soils and then that shale in the background it's about 14 feet the depth of this is, um, just to give you an example, uh, this goes, this is 14 feet here, then it drops another 6 feet, then it drops another 14 feet. So over 30 feet on the front end, over 30 feet. You can see a pier there again being incorporated in. These are the corners, you can see another pier there, there's piers here. Uh, that's just about the Snowmass Marketplace. Um, you know, we it took a while to prep for footers. We had the HP Kumar, the soils engineer, as well as our structural engineers, uh, five guys over there, and two guys, Stephen Pollock and his crew uh, at HP Kumar. So there's about seven engineers and, of course, three builders uh, that signed off on this, including myself. Uh, but it took a while. It took a couple months to get to where exactly where we liked it. Here's getting in the dirt, making that happen, compacting the heck out of it. Uh, and you can see just uh, how compact it is. It was rock hard, bulletproof. And then, of course, a lot of coring. Uh, coring's drilling uh, into uh, existing 
so we can epoxy and drag. But this is uh, rock hard. You can hit that with a sledgehammer, it wouldn't put a dent in it. So we had the three three footers there for our um, for our iron posts, and then our central footer. You can see our front front area here, the east wall footer. It's prior to digging out for our significant stairwell stair tower. Little shot there, just digging deep, really working the soils. So we're about, right now, we're about 30, 35% completion on the project. Uh, we have a little over a million dollars in value, a million 160 in value added to the project thus far. This is us going through the plans with the two structural engineers. That's Andrew and Chris. Chris is local, East Carbondale, Andrew's Boulder. Uh, we were working through to get these uh, buttresses uh, in the right places. This is our smart home designs. Uh, this is our crew working, of course, getting those footers done. I'm not going to bore you with all the, uh, the billings. Well, let's go down here. Uh, so that's all of our digs. Let's get you into the interesting parts. So here we go. This is the pour. So we poured uh, <laughs> a ton of 4,000 PSI concrete versus the 3,000 PSI. Uh, a couple reasons. Structurally more sound. It's more firm. And... Um, easier to work with uh, as far as for finish work. It's a little more expensive, but it's given us that much more support. So here's the, the guys. That's, of course, Matt. This is Alex uh, working the boom, pouring, screen, getting it prepped for the stem walls, doing the layout. Layout took a week. HP Kumar, numerous visits there again, uh, getting prepped and ready and making sure we were ready for what we're doing. Here's the sewer. Uh, a quick shot of the sewer drain there. And then, of course, uh, this was prior uh, to getting that poured. You know, we had it on stilts for a while. We were really trying to salvage what we could, but uh, first the, the foundation crumbled below us. We couldn't get the southeast corner to hold. And after struggling with it for literally, you know, about a month, we just decided, hey, we're going to cut it all out and de demo it. This is horrendous work, by the way. We went through people like water. Uh, it's just a ton of work to remove a foundation while everything's on stilts. I was feeling it was so unsafe that we opted, of course, to uh, just get everything, get rid of everything, get it out, and uh, start fresh. It was the right call. Uh, buyers in this marketplace are interested in a new build, and they are not as interested in old construction, older construction. And, of course, it's just that much more appealing. So uh, we made the right call um, as far as... Uh, everything's concerned with the monies and uh, what it's going to cost. It costs an additional million dollars, but on the front end, it costs more. But on the back end, I believe that not only is it more appealing, but it will demand more. So as you can see, these guys just went to town. I mean, this thing was uh, <laughs> it was a big project. Shot on uh, Independence Pass. Plans that were revised literally dozens of times. And then, of course, as we worked organically to process and um, have this project evolve. Uh, it came together exactly as we'd, we'd want it. So let's take that out. That's your front. Those were all the footers as they were being installed. You can see this is that front stair. So it really, you know, it steps down, steps down, the steps up, and then steps up again. So it was, uh, it's probably one of the more involved foundations I've ever done in my life, to be quite honest. Uh, it turned out great. We have a great crew. We have a great project. That's your update. That's the last 94 days. It went from excavating uh, almost 500 square yards to compacting, compressing, and prepping the soils. Uh, and then, of course, um, outlining and layout for the footers, laying out all the footers. And then, of course, where we're at now, which is on the stem walls. And let me give you some stem wall shots. So here we are a few days ago, uh, early in the morning, sun just coming up, and here's the stem walls. So these are ICF, and these are amazing. Um, so as you can see me measuring, that's Matt up there cutting. Uh, this is down in the depths, that's 11 foot 8 up from here to there, then another 14 feet from there. So really significant jumps. Here's the front, front face, this is uh, the, the boys working on that incorporating these stair steps or these what's called spread footings 
uh, and incorporating them. We epoxy, so you can see those holes there. Epoxy those together, they all come together. Here's one of the corners. This is me doing me, my, all my takeouts uh, to get prepped and ready for concrete, uh, which is tomorrow. So there you go, all these walls going in. Unbelievable how they go up, really cool product. Then it stays all on site, it's insulated, it's uh, ready to go. And then all we do is wrap, seal it, and it is a done, a complete finished product. It all stays in the ground. You can see those layers of stone there. That's what we like. That huge wall there, that's a, almost 15 feet. As you can see, Curly's almost seven foot tall, literally. He's six foot eight, and he's squashed by that. And then it goes another five feet down from there. On the other side of this is a bunch of flying buttresses, or a bunch of buttresses, partial flying buttresses in some cases. You can see all the drill holes. That's another 14 feet there. So this really doesn't give you the magnitude, the scope of how large this uh, project is, but that, that's how far it goes down. That's our French drain, all our prep, our corners. Here's our buttresses, and there's buttresses throughout the whole place, lateral and uh, uh, so your horizontal lateral and vertical supports everywhere. Just, I mean, this thing is a, it's, it's a bunker. It's not going anywhere. It's well insulated. It's well formed. It's well built and um, one of the coolest products I've ever seen. So we're really excited about it. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, and we'll see you on the next one.